89 Toyota 4Runner. It's first gen, of course, with the roof that comes off. It's got the independent front suspension, fuel injected. I yeah. got 33s on it. 33s? How do you sleep in the back, Garrett? What do you think? Uh, I just have this foam mat. I got, uh, I took two twin sheets from an old bed and I sewed them together and I slip it over this so I can wash it. Oh, yeah. And it rolls up back there. I have plenty of space for, uh, my bags and my ice chest and everything. When you load it up, right? Yeah, when it's all loaded up. I try to keep it all organized as much as I can when it's loaded. So I know where everything is. And then the bike? <clears throat> you put the bike on the back? Uh, yeah, the, the bike just goes on this little trailer. It's got it's got a little ramp, of course. Uh, yeah. You know, you can get these for like a hundred bucks on right. Amazon. Uh, with like a 350 pound weight capacity. Holds my uh, 1995 Honda. How do you, my 250. How do you like the bike? This thing is awesome. <laughs> I love this. It's it, perfect out here, King of the Hammers. I mean, like, you know, yeah. it's, got, it's got the headlight. It's great. Yeah, looks good. How many miles you got on the truck? Uh, I got pu pushing 200,000. It's like 192,000 right now. Yeah, the front looks like you got some good clearance on that. Yeah, it's it's torsion bar suspension, so it, you don't have a lot of travel. You have like three inches of travel, but right. these four runners, even the old ones, come stock with a really good four wheel drive system. It's got a good stance to it. Yeah. And then the what about the winch? You used the winch before? Yeah, I've used the winch. It's a good it's a good winch. It probably needs to be rebuilt sometime soon. Sometimes it's a little finicky, but right. it's always done what it needs to do. And you don't have it all rock bodied out like some of these guys are all dented up. Here's this yeah. thing looks pretty clean. Yeah, it's a clean And how long have you been living out of it? Well, I've just been living out of it here at uh, King of the Hammers. You know, I've gone camping trips ever so often. But yeah. This is my daily driver. Yeah. Uh, you know, I drive this to work and back most of the time. For this trip, how long have you been out of it, living out of it? Oh, let's see. Uh, it's been about four days. So I'll be living in it about, uh, I think, like five or six days by the end. Yeah, by the time you leave, it'll be five or six days, right? Yeah. No yeah. problems. Sleep no. good? Yeah, sleep good. No issues. You have plenty of gear. Mm -hmm. You got your chair and your ice chest. Your ice chest held held the water good, man. Yeah. Or held the ice good, I should say. Yeah, this is, uh, I got my waterproof bags here, and those, um, yeah. those containers there are all supposedly pretty waterproof. Let me see the ice. Let's see. There's a test. Four days in, and the king of the hammers. How? This is a decent ice chest. It's $100 less than what the, uh, what the, you know, yeah. Yeti brand would be or whatever in it. You got it ice. Keeps your stuff cold just as long as it's got a little compass. There's another, just like Amazon, Amazon purchase, like 200 bucks. Very cool. Deciding uh, an ice chest would be something worth spending a lot of money on. Well, food's important, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice and fresh. All right on. Thanks. Absolutely. Garrett from Santa Barbara. Back at King of the Hammers 2020.